Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Skymark Pursuit Drone. GPS drone with follow me technology. This is made by Promark. Now, I had one of these. It wasn't this exact model, it was the uh, Promark uh, Shadow, GPS Shadow Drone. <clears throat> and I sent it out to Ron Brown. But here was the problem. Is I get more questions on this thing than anything that I have. Okay, those actually were like my most viewed videos were on that uh, Shadow Drone. Probably five of the top ten videos that I've had on YouTube are from that thing. And the problem was I still get tons of questions about it. But now that I don't have it anymore, I can't remember every little nuance of the thing because I sent it out. So it's hard for me to answer the questions, and I like to answer every question somebody has a question. I'll even go look it up myself and get back to them if I have to. So I figured I'd pick another one up just so I would have it to uh, be able to answer these questions for people when they... Uh, have questions about it because you know people are coming into this hobby every day you know more people come in and just because this thing is old to us you know that doesn't mean it's old to uh, some guy that just bought it up at Walmart now I got this thing super super cheap okay I think it was like $58 on eBay okay and it was brand new too so um, so I figured I'd just pick up another one and I'll be able to have it if uh, I run into some question I can't answer right off the top of my head. And I have to dig it back out of the box and fire it up. Now, the thing about this one, we're going to open it up. The thing about this one here is that it does not have the headset. Which I'm pretty sure the one I sent to Ron had the headset. Okay, here it is with the box open. Now, in this area right here is where the headset would be. The one I sent to Ron, I'm pretty sure had the headset in it. But this one does not have the headset, so it's cheaper, you know, if you don't get into the VR thing, which I don't. So you don't need the headset. And I've never had a question on the headset, so. There's never been a question on the headset. And if anybody asks, they'll have to go ask Ron Brown, okay? So here's a little uh, USB charging plug. They recommend that you only use this plug, okay? I don't know what the difference between this cord and any other micro USB cord is. I really don't because I've charged this thing a hundred times with the, on the other one using just a regular old cord and I never had a problem with it. But they recommend you use this, so we're going to mention that. Here's the quadcopter. It comes fully assembled. There's the camera. It has a little motor on it, so you can, you know, on the controller, there's a little button on there. You can bend it up and down. That does work kind of slow from what I remember from the other one. And what's nice, too, is they come fully assembled, too. And this is just a SEMA X8. Okay, that's all it is. Probably actually SEMA made this thing. I wouldn't be uh, the least bit surprised that SEMA even manufactured this for them. So it comes fully assembled. Um, I think, yeah, on the back of the camera here, there's a uh, micro um, SD card slot. So you can record it uh, on there or you can use a phone recorder and record the video that way. You know, whatever way you want. Yeah, it's in good shape. Brand new. Looks good. I like the uh, black and red. That's pretty sharp looking. And then here is your battery. It has an indicator light on it too. And it, it does this when it's charging. You know, it does the DJI thing where the lights flash until it's all the way charged. And it's a 2500 milliamp hour but it's not a lipo battery it's a lithium ion battery that's the difference so 
Then you got a spare set of props and a screwdriver. And there's the screws in here to put on the prop guards, which we're not going to use those. Let's get the transmitter out. Oh, I remember this because this was uh, in the other one too. They even give you extra legs. So I guess if you really get in a doozer crash, <laughs> you, you tear the legs up and you'll have, you'll have a spare set of legs. I remembered that from the other one. I wonder if Ron's used them yet. <laughs> when he's fired up the second separate set of legs yet. I doubt it. Anyway, so here they are. And they're pretty sturdy. So we'll just toss them back in there. Here's the transmitter. And it has this nice little handle on there so you can carry it this way. So that's pretty neat. It's got these little covers on here. And it has the phone holder right here. Comes out of the inside of it like that. It's the app. Let me turn that off. The app QR code is on the box here. It's right here. There's the one for the uh, iOS and there's the one for the Android. And it's called uh, Promark GPS. That's the name of the app. It's the same one as the uh, Shadow Drone. Same, same app. So you won't have any issues with that. You put in the battery. Now, I think there is one difference between this and the Shadow Drone is that this one, they make you do the compass calibration from what I remember. Um, on the Shadow Drone, you could just bypass that and do the manual override, which is the headless mode button, which is right here on the transmitter. You were able to override the compass calibration and just go straight into the Addy mode and fly it like that. But this one, I believe you can't do that. You have to do the spin and do that whole deal. So let's get it turned on. Now, just to let you know, if you want to remove this camera, which I did on the other one, I removed the camera and tried to hang a GoPro on here. It was not even a full GoPro, it was just the session, and it flew terribly. It flew fine with this, this the weight of this, but any added extra weight to this thing causes this thing to fly terribly. So I would just go ahead and use the video that comes with it, you know, just use the camera that comes with it, because it doesn't seem to have any issue with the stock camera. But when you add any extra weight to it with a GoPro or even one of those you know, Magoos or whatever, you're going to have problems. Trust me, it's not going to fly right at all. So you don't want to go that route. You just want to suffer with this video from this one. You turn on the quadcopter. Now you have to do it this way, okay? <laughs> or it won't work. I, this is part of the million questions. You have to turn on the quadcopter. Turn on the transmitter. Wait till the camera moves a little bit. Bind that. Now it's waiting for me to do the, the compass calibration. So I'm just gonna take it and spin it. There it goes. Now I'm gonna to try to do this GPS override, but I never could get it to work before. Let's see if I can get it to take off real quick. Cause I couldn't do the GPS override before on this thing and then it wouldn't take off, so. Oh, this one, okay, it will.
Okay. So I was wrong about that. It will do the override without firing up the app or anything. You just have to wait the longer than you did with the um, the shadow drone. The shadow drone, it was instantaneous. You turned it on. You know, you hurried up and hit the uh, GPS override. The headless mode held it in, and it would do it right away. But this one, it, it won't. So um, let's just go to the app real quick, and I'll show you that real real fast. Here it is, Promark GPS. Wait a minute, I don't think I hit the thing in the settings. Hold on a minute, homie. Hold on, Wilbur. <laughs> Here it is, Promark 116.754. It's not password protected, so you can just go right to it. Okay, let's go back to the app again. Just go to controls. Okay, and there it's going, showing up. The batteries are kind of put here. But you see it's showing on the screen. The, the video looks really clear, actually. You know, it's, it's really uh, clear looking. There is a little bit of power in these things, but not a lot. It's not showing a lot of power. Anyway, you have your VR mode if you had the, if you had the goggles. You got return to home, take off land, and there's that little dude right there, little stick man. That's the follow me. There's your video and your um, your photo button right there. So that's about it. There's really not a whole lot to it, to be honest with you. But we don't have any, um, oh yeah, the settings over here. Let me go to that. Over here in the top right, there's this little... Uh, button here you click on that and it'll go over to the settings you can put it in beginner mode or and you can set your flight distances to how many feet or how many meters it says 500 meters i don't know about all that the altitude you could set it to 120 and uh, return to home altitude you could set here at 120 and you can adjust these you know whatever you want now what i would suggest to you is that every time you Every time you would reset this, or every time you would start this quadcopter up, every time, before you start flying, always check this, because it doesn't always save, it does not always save this from one time to the next. You might fire it up, go out there and think, okay, it's all good, and it'll start flying around, you're like, okay, it's stopping, it's stopping, because the beginner mode went on. I mean, it says save, but it just doesn't always do it. See, that's the issue. So all you got to do is this, whenever you start it up, and you got the phone sitting in the controller and all that, before you take off, just go over here and look. Okay, is the beginner mode on or is it off? So that's all you got to do. Just make sure that the beginner mode is not on or is on the whatever, you know, you want to use. So, yeah, that, that's about it on this thing. Okay. It's the same thing as the Shadow Drone, but now I'll have it if I have any questions that pop up. And it will override the GPS, it just doesn't do it as fast. So, all right guys, there you go, the Skymark Pursuit Drone. We'll go pursue something here at one time or another. I don't know if I'm going to fly this thing or just keep it around for answering questions, okay, so... That's that's all I might even keep it for. All right, guys, have a nice day.